Okay, so yoga history and philosophy in under a minute to sum it all up. Pay attention! Traditionally, yoga meant meditation. The only real instruction was to sit down and shut up, control the mind and the senses, and be like a stone or a piece of wood. There were also ascetics who held their arms in the air or stood in tree pose like forever. The point was to detach from the body and its desires. Basically, yoga is a state beyond the mind. Body positivity wasn't really a thing until the influence of tantra, which doesn't mean sting having sex for six hours. It's way more out there. There's a snake in the spine and it bursts through the skull to dissolve the mind. But it's imagined into being like chakras, which are meditative templates, not rainbows and unicorns. Anyhow, that subtle stuff made yoga more physical with non-seated postures and worldlier goals. It's a long way from there to vinyasa with a Spotify soundtrack, but that's how it started. And there's all sorts of stuff about cultural appropriation and decolonization and plenty more things we don't have time for, but they're all in my book, The Truth of Yoga. And since yoga keeps changing, it's good to get a sense of what comes from where. Why not order a copy? Thanks for listening.